दिस इज योर गेट टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी टू क्वेश्चन फर्स्ट यू अंडरस्टैंड दिस सिक्वेंस इज गिवन टू यू द क्वेश्चन इज आस्किंग विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग इज क्लोज फॉर्म ऑफ जनरेट फंक्शन फॉर द सिक्वेंस दिस सिक्वेंस इज गिवन टू यू दिस सिक्वेंस इज गिवन टू यू मीन्स ए जीरो ए वन ए टू ए थ्री दिस सिक्वेंस इज गिवन टू यू and the definition is given that an is equal to if n is even if n is even then tell me what is a0 if n is even otherwise means n is even otherwise means n is even so if n is even then it will be one so this also will be one so this a4 this also will be this a4 also will be one okay so your series and what is a1 a1 is 2 a3 is 4 okay so like this so first you understand the sequence and then you have to find the answer so your sequence is like this you have this sequence a0 a1 a2 a3 a4 a5 a6 and so on so your a0 is 1 this is also 1 this is also 1 this is also 1 and so on and your a1 your a1 that is a To your a three is a four, a three is four, a five is six, and this a seven, this is eight. So like this. So now you apply the formula. What will be the generative function? The generative function will be a zero x power zero plus a one x power one plus a two x power two, and so on. So can you notice like this is your sequence? So what will you do? Anyone want to tell me to solve this question? What will you do to solve this question? Solve them separately. Yes or no? Yes or no? Solve them separately. See, just split. So what you do? What you do? This term, this term. Okay, these terms you take together. These terms you take together. Let's call it. Let's call it capital A. Let's call it capital A. And these terms you take together. and let's call it capital b the final answer will be what a plus b yes or no the final answer will be a plus b yes or no so these terms you take together then you will get you will get this a and okay so a plus b this will be your final answer so what is a just find out what is a so what is a a0 a2 a4 your a a is like this all are one All are one. So your a is like this: a zero x power zero plus a two x power two plus a four x power four plus a six x power six, and so on. All of them are one. This is one. This is one. This is one. So all are one. So finally, what I will I will get? So I will get one plus x square plus x power four plus x power six. This is an infinite GP. we already know this is a infinite gp so the answer will be 1 upon 1 minus r this will be the a this will be your a correct yes or no so we got a we got a this a we got because we are splitting your gx is this your gx is a0 x power 0 a1 x power 1 a2 x power 2 a3 x power 3 and so on okay so this is this is the a3 x power 3 and so on so what i am saying i am splitting i am splitting all these terms i am taking like this term this term this term i am taking and i am putting them and i am calling it a and this term this term all the odd terms so this is the all the even terms these are the even terms and these are the odd terms yes or no so now we are getting a so this a will be what a will be a0 x power 0 plus a2 x power 2 plus a4 x power 4 and so on so now that will be 1 upon 1 minus x square and what is b and what is b b is you can notice b is uh 2 x power 1 b is like this 2 x power 1 plus 4 x power 2 uh, plus 4 x power 3 plus 6 x power 5 plus 8 x power 7 this is your b is this gp or in agp what is this is this gp can i say this is gp this is your infinite agp this is the agp this is not gp is this in the desired format can i directly apply the formula can i directly apply the formula no directly you cannot apply the formula 
so this is your infinite agp but directly apply formula is not not possible that okay you cannot cannot directly apply formula cannot directly apply formula apply formula why because the reason is very simple because in this your gp part is like this your gp part is this this is the gp part and your ap part is this your ap part is 2 4 6 and so on tell me tell me tell me here that method will work if i put 0 that method will work or not like if i put 0 if i put 1 will that method work will that method work no gp is disturbed now gp is disturbing gp is disturbing this method will not work now gp is disturbing gp is disturbing so can i put something like okay so basically whatever you do you cannot put one right you cannot put one gp is disturbing this method you cannot apply okay this method you wrong this method now you cannot apply because gp is disturbing you are disturbing gp disturbance so this is the disturbance this is the disturbance you are disturbing the gp yes or no common ratio is not same common ratio should be x square so to see this is what you want you want to make it one you mo, you want to make it one but common ratio is disturbed you are disturbing the common ratio you want to make it one but you are disturbing the common ratio so what method you to apply anyway which method to apply so this is the question so anyway basically this method you can always apply 4 x cube plus 6 x power 5 8 x power 6 this method you can always apply just take x common take x out okay so take x out so you will get 2x square plus 6x power 4 plus 8x uh, that will be 7 okay so that will be 6 and so on now this is in the desired format now this is in the desired format yes or no so just take x out or maybe 2x yes you can take 2x out just take 2x out so let me take 2x out so if you take 2x out then you will get something like this very simple now this is in the desired format now you can apply the direct formula the direct formula what will be a a is 1 now you can apply the direct formula this is your a so a upon 1 minus r so the common ratio is x square the common ratio is x square the common ratio is x square so it will be something like this so this is a this is the final answer will, will be what that will be a plus b but let me tell you that this will not match the options the options will not match if you notice the options will not match if you do a plus b if you do a plus b see this is your a and this is your b if you do a plus b the options will not match correct the options are not matching so you have to simplify in this question all the options you notice all the options this is common right 1 upon 1 minus x this thing is common 1 upon 1 minus x so in every option what we have to do we have to separate this 1 upon 1 minus x this is the idea see think about it in all the options we have 1 upon 1 minus x so we have to separate 1 upon 1 minus x so your a plus b what what that will be your a plus b a plus b will be 2x upon 1 minus x square plus 2x cube upon 1 minus x square whole square plus 1 upon 1 minus 1 upon 1 minus x square what i want to separate what i want to separate i want to separate 1 upon 1 minus x i want to separate 1 upon 1 minus x and this is what i want to separate correct agree do you agree that i want to okay so from this let me separate from this let me separate 1 upon 1 minus x this is what i am going to do okay so what i am what i will do i will separate 1 upon 1 minus x this is your 1 upon 1 minus x square so i can write it 1 upon 1 plus x 1 minus x what i want to do 
आई वॉन्ट टू सेपरेट वन अपॉन वन माइनस एक्स प्लस समथिंग प्लस समथिंग करेक्ट डू यू एग्री बिकॉज दिस इज द टारगेट आवर टारगेट इज टू सेपरेट वन अपॉन वन माइनस एक्स दिस इज आवर टारगेट टू सेपरेट दिस वन अपॉन वन माइनस एक्स सो वट आई कैन डू टू सेपरेट दिस वट आई कैन डू आई कैन राइट इट एक्स प्लस वन माइनस एक्स आई कैन राइट लाइक दिस यस और नो इफ आई वॉन्ट टू सेपरेट वन अपॉन वन माइनस एक्स देन आई कैन राइट इट एक्स प्लस वन माइनस एक्स नाउ वॉट विल हैपन नाउ ओके नाउ दिस आई कैन राइट बेसिकली now this will become so from here what i will get i will get x plus 1 divided by 1 plus x 1 minus x minus x upon 1 plus x 1 minus x so finally this this and this will cancel so i will get what i want i i will get i will get what i want and this will be minus x upon 1 minus x square okay is it clear like what we have done because from the options we are finding the options are telling us that separate 1 upon 1 minus x separate in all the options separate 1 upon 1 minus x so what i am doing i want to separate 1 upon 1 minus x this is what i want to separate to separate this to separate this 1 upon 1 minus x what i am doing i am putting x plus 1 so that they can cancel out so that they can cancel out so that is the reason so what i am doing x plus 1 minus x so that it it is one this is one this is one now you can do this you can divide by this because you already know that if you have a plus b divided by c then you can write it as a plus a divided by c b divided by c this is what we know so what i can do this divides this minus this divides this okay so finally i will get this so what i am saying i am saying that this you can write as 1 upon 1 minus x Minus x upon one minus x square. Is this clear? Now this is what you want separate. So you don't disturb. Don't disturb this. The remaining things, the remaining things you put together and you simplify. The remaining things. So this minus x upon one minus x square. And this is your two x minus. So this is your two x upon one minus x square. And this is your two x cube. Upon one minus x square whole square. So what I will get? So from this, if you remove this, then what I will get? From this, if you remove this, then I will get. Then I will get x upon one minus x square plus plus this value, two x cube divided by one minus x square whole square. Now this is very simple. One minus x square whole square. That will be the common. You will take it common. This 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 one this you take it common. If you take it common, then you will get two x cube plus plus x into one upon uh, x into one minus x square. So that will be x minus x cube. So what I will get finally? Finally, what I will get? Uh, I will get x plus x cube divided by one minus x square whole square. So x plus x cube x plus x cube one minus x square whole square. X plus x cube one minus x square whole square. So what is the answer? Answer is option. So okay. So in this gate, in this exam, in this gate question, you have to apply this thing also, like because the options will not match. If you see options will not match. Okay, options will not match. So you have to apply this idea. This idea you have to apply that you have to take one upon one minus x common. This you have to take it out. Okay. So very simple idea. is this clear yes in the gate exam this is time taking okay but this question was two mark and this was a easy question see this this type of questions they will make you topper why the reason because this type of questions majority of people will not be able to solve so you will be able to solve and many people they will get negative answer so basically this type of questions they will make you topper Okay, if there is an easy question like scheduling question, like there are man, there are many easy easy topics, scheduling, propositional logic, this type of questions everyone will solve. These type of questions are not going to make you topper. You will become topper from this type of questions like generating function, okay, like uh, decidability, okay, uh, synchronization in operating system, 
transaction management and SQL in DBMS, in compiler design, liveness analysis. So this type of topics, they will make you the topper. Okay, because easy topics, everyone will understand, everyone will uh, solve. Okay, anyway, so let's, uh, let's move on. So did you understand this question? Tell me. Yes, this is time consuming, but did you understand? All this question, did you understand what we have done? So this is a simple question, but it is just calculation. You have to do the calculation, nothing else. This is time consuming, you can notice. Because first you have to solve it, then you have to um, match with the options. You have to match with the options. This is the important task, okay, to match with the options. But let me tell you, where did we save time? In this question, where did we save time? We saved some time. Where did we save time? Because if you are directly applying the formula for AGP, this is where we are saving the time. You have infinite AGP. For infinite AGP, if you directly apply the formula, here you can save time. Because just think about it. If someone will do the AGP procedure here, that will take another extra one minute, yes or no? Extra one minute will be taken if you do the procedure, AGP procedure. Multiply with the common ratio, shift, subtract. Okay, so that will take extra one minute, extra one or two minutes. So that is the reason this infinite AGP formula is important. Okay, 